Welcome to London and some of the great sights here. Is it the first time you've really been able to sort of take in the sights? I mean, you've probably traveled a lot before. Yeah, um, I'm not really a, a big sightseeing guy, so when I'm at tournaments, it's usually just hotel and, and courts for me. So it's really nice to you know, come out and see the, see the stuff I don't get to see all the time when I'm playing. I mean, Americans always get blown away by the history of London. How does this compare to San Diego, which is where you're from? It's not very, uh, I mean, it's much more historical, you know. Uh, San Diego's much newer and it's not so old. The season's coming to an end now. How will you spend your kind of downtime, your, your time away from tennis? I'm probably just going to be at home playing video games, I think. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I just need kind of like a, a staycation, not really uh, go anywhere because I'm always traveling, you know, just stay at home for a bit would be nice. You're a bit of a, a, a FIFA fan, I gather, is that right? Yeah, big fan. Yeah, and football club-wise, who, who, who do you support? Man United. That's not such a good thing these days. <laughs> it's been a rough season. And in terms of the rest of your, your time here in London, what, what are you going to be doing? I'm actually going to be practicing a lot. Uh, yeah, it's most people's, most people's off season, but uh, I think it's a really good opportunity to to get better with all these amazing players. Had you not been a tennis player, I'm going to kind of guess what your answer might be. Most players say basketball. Would that be right? I, w I don't think I could have been a basketball oh, player. Really? I, was, I played basketball, but I don't think I could have been a professional. So, uh, you know, I, I would have, I think I would have tried to be a pro at some other sport. Well, we're quite glad you've stuck with tennis. It seems to be going quite well. Good man. Uh, enjoy your time in London.